Hey, I wanted to show you how to um, vent sex the non feather sexable coil. This works on the, co the coil that are feather sexable too, but you have to use this way when you have non feather sexable coil, meaning you can't tell by looking at the bird, the males from the females, you kind of have to check their little private parts. It's really easy. Let me show you. Um, let's see. So we have this guy. Let's see if I can do this on video. <laughs> this guy is a male and he is nine weeks old. So usually around eight weeks old. They don't like being held. <laughs> I don't hold my quail all that much, so they're still not used to it. Um, around eight weeks old, you can start telling the males from the females. This guy's nine weeks old, so we are really good in the clear to tell. So you're gonna look at their little hineys. And if you can see, let me find his little hiney. There we go. All right, so this is his hiney. And I don't know if you can tell from the video, but he's got a bulge right at the base of his vent. And when I push it, like that white meringue, white mousse comes out. I barely pushed it. That is what he uses to transfer his sperm to the females. So the white mousse, the white meringue, when you gently push underneath the vent, that's a boy. Let me put him back. Now our girls, this pretty little gray one, isn't she so cute? This little one is a girl. I just, I just checked. But let me show you. When you look at her hiney, it's more of a side to side slit and there's no bulge under here. And I push it and there's nothing. She kind of does this little kissy thing. That's a girl. There's no meringue coming out. Sometimes there's a little bit of poop juice bubbles, but no, none of that. Oh, she pooped on me. <laughs> so that's not the meringue that we saw with the male. Not the meringue. Sorry, honey. So let me see if I can get another one. Oh, your feet are dirty. Look at this sparkly. So pretty. I think this is a boy. I haven't checked. So let's see. So this is one's a little bit younger. So if we push underneath, nothing. So this is actually a girl, a girl. Now there's a couple things that can make your boys look like girls. They will only um, have the foam if they are sexually mature, mature. So eight to 10 weeks, you can start looking. And if they are in breeding season. So if you're getting 13 hours of daylight, if they're getting 13 hours of light, it'll cue their bodies to trigger breeding and they'll produce the foam. If it's the fall, woo, my phone fell. If it's the fall um, and daylight hours are dwindling, those boys may not be triggered to have foam. So make sure you have lights on them for 13 to 14 hours a day so that your boys will be triggered to produce that foam. Otherwise they'll just look like girls. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure. So the feather sexable ones, they'll do this too, but you can also tell from their feathers. I'll do another video on that. Um, but this is for the unfeather sexable. So look for that foam. I didn't have to press very hard. I can probably show you one more time if my phone will stay. I don't have a real tripod. I have it rigged up. Come here, little boy. Let me show you one more time. It's not hard and we just did him. So I don't know if I'll have foam again. Come here, you to hold his little leggies okay so look for the bulge it's hard to tell in the video but there's definitely a bulge and you press it and that meringue foam meringue foam comes out right there meringue foam that's what you're looking for so he's a boy and i've had lights on him on a timer so i know he's getting enough daylight so he's gonna foam so yeah those are your boys not hard right you can do it you can do it